It's 9 a.m. and Boo is relaxing on his patio chair. Today the cats are eating on a fall platter. These are really nice. So here's what they're getting today. I'm doing things a little bit differently. They're getting their primal raw. They're each getting two of the bricks. So there's one, two, three servings of the bricks. They're only getting two bricks each. Um, then there's also some, this is the wellness dry food that I put in here. The outside cats don't like it, but the inside cats um, are okay with it. So this is what they're getting. They're not getting any uh, dry food or other food between meals today. Yesterday, I put Stella on a scale. Well, I, you know, I got on a scale and I weighed myself and then I picked Stella up and I got on the scale and weighed myself with Stella and she gained weight. So she's up to 15 pounds. She was 15 pounds maybe like uh, three or four months ago and then she got down to 14 pounds. So I thought she was going in a good direction but now she's going in the wrong direction again. So she is no longer uh, going to eat as much food as she has been eating. She just really, really loves food. Yep, I just got out of the shower. And Stella wants to take a nap on my leg. She wants to rub all up and down against my leg. This is what Stella is doing. She's laying on my ankle. I'm sitting here and being productive on my computer while she does this. I'll give her like five or ten minutes. 11.15 a.m. Boo was sleeping on the patio chair just like five minutes ago. And now he's drinking water out of the water bowl. I just put fresh water in there yesterday. There's still dry food in the feeder. And the rest of the food on the plate is gone. But the plate is still there. So that's a good thing. Good morning, Boo. It's 11.20 a.m. I'm giving Boo his food right now. He had the feeder food. It goes off at 6. That he can eat that if he wants to. So it's not like he's starving or anything. Right now I'm giving him wet food. With uh, some leftover dry food from the other cats this morning. We just don't want to waste it. And um... Yeah, so this is what Boo's getting. There's also flea away in there, which he had no problem eating that yesterday, so I'm gonna put that in there. And uh, this worked out well. So now I would just need to kind of remove the clips and then throw the plate out and potentially just put a new plate on here. But what I need to do, hopefully I'll be able to fit that in today, is go buy more of the hot glue for the hot glue gun so I could make up a few more of these. Hey boo! He's rubbing a bowl against my back. How are you? You're a nice boy. You're a nice boy, boo. Right? Oh, I just realized that I left the uh, whirly toy in the tent all night. It wasn't on, but it was in there. Well, I hope it wasn't on. Maybe I left it on. Now the batteries are dead. I want him to start eating his food before I go give Hydrox his food, because Hydrox is sitting on the driveway. Eat your food, boo. Go eat it. Here's Hydrox. Here's Hydrox's plate. Boo is like a puppy cat. He reminds me of a puppy. I'm pet you. Come on. I'm pet you. Okay, you're gonna eat. Sitting on the steps. I held out the brush. He recognized the brush. And he came to it. Usually after I brush him a little bit, then he'll go and he'll eat his food. It's a nice day today. Oh my gosh, it's such a nice day. Okay, so he's just sitting next to me. Here he is, sitting right next to me on the step.
I'm just putting that plant up there for now. I mean, he never goes in this thing, so that shouldn't be an issue. Actually, I'll put this other little plant in there too. Might end up turning into a plant stand. Hey, boo. It was very warm from the black fur and the sun. What are you doing today, boo? Have you ever felt like you need a day off from your days off? That's how I feel today. It's like I had so much to do on my days off that I really couldn't even enjoy them. So now I need a day off from my day off. Who are you, puppy cat? Puppy cat. Be gentle. Be nice. No claws. No claws. Okay, you want the brush? You could have the brush. What are you doing? Where's your brush? Where did it go, boo? <laughs> oh my gosh, where is it? I don't see it anywhere. Where's your brush? Are you laying on it? Are you laying on your brush? Where is it? Oh, it's here. He wants to sit where it's cool in the shade. Okay, boo, I'm gonna put your food in the shade also, okay? The other uh, nice thing about these little tables is not only do they protect the food from rain, they also keep the food in the shade. There we go. There you go. Your food's in the shade. It's there when you want to eat it, okay? Okay? Okay, I'm going to put the brush away. You have a nice day, boo. Have a nice day. Be nice to high dogs. I just put the whirly toy on for him in case he wants to play with it. I'll leave it on for a little while. It is 11.50. I'm just about to leave. And Boo is hanging out where it's cool under the patio table. Good for him. I'm going to shut off the toy in the tent because it's just going to be on all afternoon. I don't think he's going to play with it. It is 6.45 p.m. and I just got home and it looks like Hydrox's food has not been touched. And here's Boo. Hey, Boo. How you doing, boo? How you doing, boo? He's looking like he looked when I left him this morning. You having a good day, boo? Are you having a good day? So there's still dry food in his bowl and a little bit of wet food. And the dry food in the feeder has been eaten.
It is 7.08 p.m. I am bringing some food out for Boo. It's a little later than I would like it to be. It's already starting to get dark, but these days are getting shorter. I need to adjust my schedule. Um, okay, Boo. Moving on over. How you doing, Boo? How you doing? Did you have a nice day? Did you have a nice day? Hmm? I'm gonna eat some food. Eat some food, boo. Eat some food. Eat some food. Nice boys. Nice boys eat food. Come on. This is yours. Down there. They both have the same thing. They both have uh, Iams turkey pate um, with assorted dry food on it and uh, they have each have half of a capsule of the flea away and there's also parasite drops in there so hydrox is waiting on the driveway here's hydrox hanging out on the driveway here you go hydrox there's his food And I'm gonna try to look at his thumbs because I know I've seen comments about his thumbs. So let's check out his thumbs. What does he have going on there with the thumbs? What do you guys see? Okay, I'm gonna move away so he could eat. He's letting me surprisingly close to him right now. And it does feel like rain is on the way. We are supposed to get rain later. So now this this old food, I'm going to dispose of this. I don't know why he didn't eat it, because he was around earlier when I fed it. So hopefully he'll eat the new food, and I'm gonna have to put this in like a baggie and get rid of it. So now with these plates, I did buy glue sticks. I went to Michael's earlier today. Uh, I squeezed it in before I went to my office, but I forgot to buy the clips. I forgot to buy these medium clips. So I want to uh, see if I could run out tonight, maybe pick up these clips, because I'm really hoping uh, this works. I wonder what else I could use to maybe add some additional weight to this. I mean, if I wanted to, I could probably, I could probably put something like under the clip on this side, because I don't really see the clip on this side moving much. Like, I don't know what I could fit in there, maybe like a penny or... If I put a penny on each of them? I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud right now. Um, so we're gonna put these inside. And while I'm thinking out loud, I have to remember to put these away. I don't wanna keep these out in the rain because they're starting to get like all rusty and corrody. And I keep forgetting, but I'm gonna put these inside now. Okay, Hydrox is eating his food and I just took the brush out. But wait, some of his food. But then he wanted to come see what I was doing because I was putting stuff in the garage. So now I'm gonna brush him a little bit. Come here. I don't have my little stool to sit on. Hey, Boo. Be nice to me. Be nice to me, Boo. Be nice to me, Boo. So it looks like the scarecrows have kind of stayed where I put them, even though it's been a little bit windy. I'm trying to keep him on this side of the patio because then he can't really see what's going on in the um, in the driveway. Like if I go sit on the steps, then he could see hijacks in the driveway. So I'm just trying to stay here so he doesn't get a view of what's going on there. Oh, he's rubbing up on my toes. Who's so silly? He's so silly. Woo, you're a silly boy. Right now, I can't even squat down because my phone is in my pocket. And these pants, they have like fake back pockets. Like, you know, the back pockets are like 
an inch deep. I hate when they do that on women's pants. Like, why do designers do that? Don't they realize that, like, women like to use pockets? Even these front pockets, the way that they're placed, like, these are um, the pixie chinos from Old Navy. And even the front pockets, the way that the pockets are placed, it's it's almost like they're unusable. It's just like they're at awkward high angles. And I mean, the pants look nice as far as like chinos go, but all of the pockets are just really inconvenient. Hello, boo. Hello, boo. It's windy. It feels like the wind before a storm. I hope we're not getting like a storm. I hope it's just rain. Are you okay, boo? You doing okay? It's like every time his fur is starting to look really, really good, like around his head and his face, and it's all growing in nicely. He goes and gets himself all scratched up again. And we're starting from scratch. But at least it hasn't been as bad as like when he first showed up like 40 days ago or whatever it was. That was really bad and thankfully that's all grown in. So Hydrox just ate maybe like half of his food. Okay, I just checked the forecast and the forecast says we're supposed to get rain maybe like a half hour and it'll last for an hour or two. Then there will be a break in the rain and then we're supposed to maybe get more rain. Like it's a 10 to 50% chance after that. Uh, pretty much most of uh, tomorrow. So I don't know what that's gonna mean, but I'm gonna start putting more stuff away. Put the carrier away. I figured I would just play with Boo for a little while and get some of his energy out because he's just been sitting around. His cat loves just sitting around on the chairs. Well, you know, he had that limp and stuff, so I didn't want to run him around too much, but he looks like he's doing better.
Here's Stella watching. Hey, Stella. Hello, Stella. I just checked the radar weather map and the rain is definitely coming from that direction. And I don't know why this camera keeps losing focus. Is it coming back in focus? Okay. Yeah, there's definitely storm clouds coming from that direction or rain clouds. So I'm going to start uh, putting Boo's towel under the house and uh, just making sure everything is inside that needs to be inside. I just put his towel under the house on the scratching pad. This other towel I am going to put inside the garage. Okay, I just put Hydrox's table back. I put his food under the table. This is Boo's toy. I want to run to the store and see if I could get there and back before uh, it starts to rain so I could pick up those clips that I forgot to pick up before. Okay, Boo? Okay, Boo? You good boy, boo. I'm going to put this away, okay? Because it's going to rain. And i got to go to the store, okay? We could play tomorrow. We play with this tomorrow, boo, okay? Okay, boo, I'll pet you for like one minute. Because it's going to rain. And I want you to go into your apartment under the house where it's dry like last time. He wants to rub up against me. Come here. Sometimes I think he's like a little black bear, and then other times I think he's like a puppy. Okay, boo. You're a nice boy. Good boy, boo. Hang out in your apartment, okay? Because it's dry in your apartment. Hang out where it's dry. If the apartment gets wet, you have the shelters to go in. You know that. You've got three different shelters to go in, and Hydrox is allowed to go in any of them that he wants, okay? Got it? Okay. Be a good boy. Okay. What's that about? What's that about? Okay. Okay. See you later, boo. It's getting really windy. I'm gonna poke him in the eye. I'll see you later, boo, okay? I'll see you tomorrow or maybe later. I want to run to the store. Okay? Okay. I just put the umbrella down because the last time I was in this situation where I literally wanted to run to a store that was five minutes away, I came back and my entire table was flipped over and broken glass was everywhere. This is not a glass table, but it's just a really similar situation to that, and I don't need this table being flipped over because the wind picks up an umbrella. I don't need Boo getting injured. Okay, Boo, go in your apartment, okay? I don't know if you guys could see him, but Hydrox is laying in the lawn. I just told him to go into one of the cat shelters. I mean, there's three shelters back there in addition to Boo's apartment, so he has places to go. It just rained for a little while, and right now is like a little dry spot in the storm. There's more rain on the way. I just looked at the satellite map. I went to Staples to try to find those binder clips, and I totally forgot that it's like back to school madness over there. So I didn't even bother going in. Um, instead, I went to another store, and now I am on my way into Target to see uh, if they have them. The lines were absolutely ridiculous in Target also. I looked at the section where the binder clips would be and they had small ones and they had large ones, but they did not have medium ones. So I am probably going to make one more stop to see if they have some at the Dollar Tree. And uh, if not, then I'm just going home. 
Okay, I went to CVS and their shelves were wiped out. So now I'm going to the Dollar Tree. If they don't have it here, then I might just order them online. I'm really starting to enjoy online shopping more than real shopping. So Dollar Tree is completely wiped out. Also, they don't have any binder clips at all. It's nine o'clock, I just got home and I remember that I have this Rubbermaid cat shelter in the garage and I'm putting it here by the side of the driveway. That way if Hydrox wants to use it, he can use it. It's a full moon tonight. I don't know why this camera does not want to focus. Just getting back and I don't know where Boo is. I don't see him in his apartment and I don't see him on patio furniture. I put the umbrella back up because the rest of the rain that we're getting tonight is just supposed to be rain, not supposed to be any kind of storms or anything. So I got back around 9 p.m. tonight and this is what happened at 9.45. Boo walks into his apartment and then he lays down on his towel. Right now it is 12.05 a.m. so it's just after midnight and Boo is right here. He's in his apartment and he is grooming himself. He's sitting on his towel and he's grooming himself. Mm -hmm. 